Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John here. It's time to start building our dream. So we are now at Daytona International Motor Speedway down in Daytona, Florida for the 20th anniversary at Jeep Beach. We'll take you guys through the vendor booths and show you guys our camp set up. Currently, we're over here set up. We got in late last night as usual, probably around 1130. But we got Ruby stage. We just picked up our camping pass and everything we need for Jeep Beach. And we registered online. They've got an interactive app. You download the app and it'll tell you where everything is and the series of events and things to do. So we are gonna enjoy this weekend. If you would smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. For early access, check us out over on TikTok and Instagram. Roll the footage. Guys, check it out. Daytona Motor Speedway. We're coming to you live today from the Daytona International Speedway. Uh, the crowd's still oh, That's cool. Look at the pick garages over there. More pit action over here. Install garages, look at that. Got a lot of folks working on their Jeeps this weekend. But I guess we just find a spot from here. Appreciate it. All right. All right guys, check this out. Jeep six by six. It's pretty impressive. That's pretty serious right there. All right guys, so we're with Monica of Mech Magnet and Monica, if you would, tell us a little bit about Mech Magnet and your uh, custom wraps. So. Yeah, of course. So Mech Magnet started back in 2016 when I bought my first Jeep. I started off-roading. I drove into the trails thinking it's a Jeep. It's got some kind of diamond clear coat finish. I scratched the heck out of it. Yeah. And when I got out of the trail, I realized that the clear coat is as strong as for a Prius. Right. So it was it was really expensive to fix and I looked for all, any kind of solution. I didn't find any, so I decided to make it. And fast forward, you know, now to 2023 with the new aluminum Jeeps, our solution instead of a uh, really high energy, strong cold magnet is actually this. So what we've done for the new aluminum Jeeps is we've replaced the magnet with a lightweight ballistic resin and then we utilize nanofold technology that allows this to stick to a aluminum, glass, fiberglass, steel, you name it, any smooth surface. Okay. The beautiful part about this is its primary function is obviously a really strong protection for your paint when you're in tight trails, but the nanofold technology allows this to be reusable and washable. So if this ever gets dirty or loses stickiness, all you have to do is rinse it with water, wash off the debris, let it air dry, and then it's good to go right back onto your Jeep. Okay. So awesome. really great product. And so you guys, how many different colors are you offering right now or different designs do you have on your website? Oh my gosh. So we've got dozens right. um, and it depends on the model and we also do full custom. So okay. if we don't have something that you know, screams, I want this on my Jeep. We do full custom design. We've got graphic designers that will take your club logos, your inspirational images, your color scheme, or just any instruction of what, how you envision this armor. I've got graphics designers that'll create a rendering, make sure we nailed exactly what you had in mind before we go into production for your one-of-a-kind armor. Okay. And I know uh, Lewis over at Inca Jeep, he runs this and he... Yep. Yeah, so he's got the mech magnet. So if you're a YouTuber or a 
you know, we've got a small business and says paying thousands of dollars for uh, one wrap, you could slice that cost down quite a bit by going with a mech magnet and yeah. still get the same results doing a custom wrap. So, all right, Monica. Well, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> Absolute pleasure to meet you. Good pleasure to meet guys. you. So, uh, the channel is all about tractors, tools, and trucks, and I'm here at CanCut with Andy. So, Andy's going to talk to us a little bit about these drill bits because I've never seen anything like it before, and they're pretty cool. Go ahead, Andy. Tell hey, me a little about um, it. So, we are an all USA made man, um, premium line of industrial quality drill bits and cutting tools. Um, this is our key product that we sell is a 29 piece uh, drill bit buddy that has a 16th through a half inch drill it has a 135 degree split tip point um, it starts on contact no need for a center punch won't walk or skid on you polished and ground flutes for added lubricity to keep the heat down it's got three flats on the shank here so that in your keyless chucks it doesn't spin um, and then we also have the, our new step pointed design so same features that are there with that one all USA made uh, but this has a step point feature that allows you to go large existing holes without snapping or breaking off your drill bit awesome and that's all that we do is industrial quality usa made drill bits and cutting tools left-handed drill bits uh, reamers um, taps dies yeah. all for the automotive professionals body shops off-road shops repair custom builders fabricators and stuff like that awesome well i really appreciate it thanks yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We oh, well, one it. last question. So what if I buy one of those and I lose a drill bit? What do you, what's the easiest way to replace it? Well, we sell them individually. Okay. So you can buy one and as many as you want. You don't have to just buy it in a kit. Okay. That's the case. So. Awesome. All right, guys, go check out cancut.com. All right, guys, so we are at the Toyo booth. So a little story is I've been running Toyo since 2014 on Big Red, the Ram 3500 Dodge. I'm on about my third set of Toyo MTs. They're 37, 13, 50 R17s, as well as on the Jeep Gladiator. Same tire, same pattern. I'm thinking about 40s, but let's talk to the experts here at Toyo and see if we should go that route or what other tires they have for road enthusiasts. It's Mike Cooper with Toyo Tires. How are you doing? Doing well. What brings you out here today? So Jeep Beach, this is my first one. I went to the Save Expo a few weeks ago, just walk around, talk to a few vendors and uh, see what's new coming to the market. And then I'm a huge fan of Toyos. So. We appreciate you coming by and happy that you did. Yeah. Let me show you one of our latest tires okay. that we just launched yeah. here. We got the new Open Country RT Trail. Okay. This tire came out about uh, early November. We launched it at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. It's a great option for someone who's looking for something that's a little more aggressive than an all-terrain tire. They want something that's a little less aggressive than an MT. So it's a great option for something like that. The sidewall is actually twice as thick as our Open Country AT3. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a lot more durable on and off-road. Yeah, I know the sidewall thickness here. Sometimes they even have problems mounting them because it's so thick. But once they're on, they're on. And this actually has a rim protector as well. So yeah. you have really nice custom wheels. It's going to protect your uh, protect the edge of your wheels. Awesome. Over here we've got the uh, rock crawler with the 40s and bead locks, and we've got another rock crawler over here. But I love the Toyo MTs, and then you said you got an RT as well. The RT segment has continued to grow with there's with a huge consumer base that's looking for something that's just a little more aggressive than an all train, and just they don't want the noise of an MT. Right. I know I tow a lot, so I'm assuming this tire's E-rated, comes in an E-rated option? Yeah, you can actually get it in a 12-ply as well. Okay. And then what about the uh, new trail? Is that more of an off-road, or is it's it going to be, be E-rated? You can get it in the E-rated Okay. Well. Yeah. Awesome. It's going to be a super heavy-duty off-road. And then we were talking a little while ago about some special manufacturing. You get, so most of it's U.S.-based, mostly out of Georgia. you got five facilities. Most of the product that you're going to buy in the U.S. when it comes to the larger diameter open country product lines are going to be made in the U.S. Right. We do bring some of this product in from Japan, yeah. but the majority of what you buy would actually be here in the U.S. Right. In All our right. factory in Georgia. All right. And if somebody wants to find out more about Toyo Tires, they just go to toyotires.com. Toyo tires.com and you can find out just about whatever you want. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Mike. All right, thank you. Thank you.
yeah, so here's another six by six over here. Check these things out. The Steam Custom Garage. Got the Rough Countries on here. Looks like we're rocking 40s. Awesome. So those are actual Venom tires. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you watched our Southeast Expo, you'll notice uh, the Warhawk over here. I don't know if Steve is around, but he's over here with uh, T-R-Y-R-I off-road lighting. So as you can see, he's got some new lights mounted up on the grill, up on the pods here. Of course, we did a full walk around. If you want to check out that walk around with Steve, go check out the last video we did. So Steve is out wandering around. We may bump into him, but uh, check this out. I like this. Some people don't like this, but look at that hood. There's the Rhino USA booth. Sweet. So this is a little different from the Gladiator I saw last time, the green one. It's got the big King shocks here, Rhino USA. So Rhino USA offers a lot of affordable recovery gear, recovery boards. And if you want to go check that out, here we go. Boards. Here's the green Jeep. Here's your privacy tent for changing with the sealed in floor. We're at Rhino USA again with Harrison from the uh, Save Expo. And Harrison, tell me about Rhino USA and uh, for anybody who had, didn't watch my last video. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, we appreciate Start Building Your Dreams for featuring us on their channel. We're at the Rhino USA booth at Jeep Beach. What we got going on here, we've got ratchet straps on sale. These are a 5,000 pound brake strength, uh, two inch by eight foot. We're doing this one for 20 bucks. We've got deflators on sale, e-tools, toe straps, soft shackles, D-rings, kinetic ropes. We've got our new traction boards out here. And as you can see, we've got some really nice rigs at this one as oh, yeah. well. At Save, we just had our Overlander rig, but we've got the big dog Jeeps out here. We're having a good time. The weather's great. It's been an awesome event so far. Yeah, and I like the recovery ropes, so the um, kinetic ropes, those are pretty nice. Yeah, these are our 7 8 and 1 inch variants. We also do 5 8 for side by sides, but this is going to be uh, perfect for a full size truck or Jeep. It's a 1 inch by 30 foot with a uh, 34,000 pound max brake strength, and it's just a great all around rope, perfect for. Florida where there's a lot of mud, sand, and uh, generally some slippery habitats. Awesome. I think one thing that I didn't see last time was a little privacy tent. Now I bought an off-brand non-Rhino USA one, but those are great, especially when you know you've got your girlfriend, your wife, your Absolutely. significant other with you. Well, you're just telling me you went to Outer Banks. Yeah. You know, when you're on the beach all day, you can't be running around going to the bathroom. That's so right. it's perfect for changing into a bathing suit real quick stepping out of the sun you can put a portable shower in there right. but it's a great little unit we just came out with it um, it's got uh, vented floors so you can wash it out you don't have to deal with the mess or anything nice. like that so it's a great product we use it frequently awesome and as soon as you learn how to fold it down it actually goes pretty quick that's those right first couple of times it's always a challenge oh that's yeah 100 percent <laughs> <laughs> well harrison i really appreciate it man. absolutely Hope thanks for the feature another thing. Hey, guys course. we are back with ben from get truck and uh, Ben's going to tell you a little bit about his bed rack system if you guys haven't ever seen it before. And uh, Ben, take it away. Hey guys, Ben from Truck. Uh, I want to show you the rack we got today. It's the Overlander rack. Uh, fella Jim here likes to call it Jim Special. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we got the 12 inch rack on this side, uh, tying in. And it ties in here to a, a 24 inch rack on this side. So yeah. the 12 inch rack is low. The 24 inch is high, so you keep your awning up high and your tent down low. Yeah. Better for fuel economy, and it's uh, one of the custom solutions you can do with trucks. Yeah. I know we talked last time, and I saw your demonstration video, but you can actually run a tonneau cover on here and keep your gear secure. Not can you, you can just, you can, you can run it, but you can also open it. That's the yeah. big difference about our racks. <laughs> so you can see here, you can open and close a roll up with a 12 inch rack. Awesome. And this is the, this is the Mopar roll up for free Gladiator guys. Okay. Um, it's one of the widest racks on the market and yeah. we, we're compatible. Awesome. All right, guys, go check out gettruck.com. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks man. Direct injection. It's 
Trooper Duty Axle, it looks like I have a 99, 04, 03. Super Duty Axle. Pretty sweet. Just got to talk to Jeremy a little bit about his Jeep build over here. This thing is wicked awesome. Go check it out. He's got his Instagram over here. So if you want some explicit content shirts, they've got those. They've got patriotic shirts and everything else. And uh, decent prices, not too bad. Lots of great designs. Definitely tell he's a patriot and his Jeep's awesome. Guys, we're over here at Summit Racing. Big into motorsports, no matter car, truck, driver, or anything that's old, you can uh, find parts for it. Whether you get a brand new Jeep Gladiator or like the Ram 3500, uh, very few people sell the AEM axle gears and master install sets. Um, I went with Summit Racing. I ordered the wrong thing online. I called the phone and they directed me to the right front axle between the uh, 25 3500. There's some minor nuances, but um, overall, very pleased with customer service. Also, if you pass through their Atlanta store, they sometimes have scratch and dent. Last time I was in there, they brought that back, and they have all kinds of parts if you can go to one of their warehouses. But with that being said, here's a look at the Summit Racing Jeep. Projector headlamps, got the badges, the wheels. Got the extra gas can AV bumper it's a good wrap gears axles lunchbox lockers everything and there's a set of 40s those are pretty impressive it's a crazy lift hey guys we're over here at rock jock 4x4 and we got Max over here. He's going to tell us a little bit about his Jeep and some of the products that they offer. Take it away, Max. For this show, we brought out our JT. We did a new wrap for it just for Jeep Beat. We're running our three and a half inch Pro Edition suspension lift kit with our aluminum rock nut control arms. Sweet. We're running 42 inch Nittos on KMC 20 inch bead locks. We've got Curry's uh, Extreme 70 axles under it. These are our prototyped billet machined arms on it. These are gonna be coming out later this year. We've got our new aluminum rock nut steering and our new forged track bar. This track bar is really cool. It bumps out of the frame bracket, yeah. gives you enough room on the diff cover for all aftermarket 60s, even your junkyard 60s, to gain about an inch to inch and a half front wheelbase stretch. Sweet. So you can clear 40s, full lock on the back of the fender here. Awesome. It's got our uh, geometry uh, drop brackets in the front. Okay. We've got a geometry bracket for the rear that helps the pinion angle. Yeah. When the rear suspension goes into full droop, it keeps the pinion angle in good alignment with the drive shaft so you don't wear out the CVs and the factory drive shafts mm -hmm. prematurely. And we've got our new billet arm in the rear here as well. Nice. Real, real pretty. Now the drop brackets, you have to uh, weld those on, I assume? It's or? a direct bolt on. Bolt Front on. and okay. rear, it's a direct bolt on. Okay. Well, that's good. How often have you wheeled this rig? I've only got to wheel it once. It was last year uh, on the 70th Jeepers Jamboree, the Rubicon okay. Trail. I drove it there a little bit and then been driving it on the street around town here back and forth from the booth. You want to show some of the other items up front? Sure. A couple new products that we got out this year. This is our JLJT high steer knuckle replacement. It's a good replacement for the factory aluminum knuckle. Yeah. You can see here where the steering arm is higher than, than stock. It raises the tie rod two and three quarter inches for more ground clearance. Okay. The kit comes with front knuckles, our correct link steering system. Okay. And then we do it two different ways. We have a bracket for a steering stabilizer, and then we do a bracket for a ram assist that is also a skid plate under the ram. The knuckles, we've incorporated a second steering stop on here. So you get dual steering stop. We've also got our new rock nut aluminum extreme duty steering set up here. This is the one for JK. Yeah. We make the cartridges for JK, JL, 
and one ton taper. This is our new forge track bar that I was talking about under our JT. Right here you can see this real tight bend here where it comes out of the factory bracket. This is to allow for more front wheelbase stretch and more clearance on your one ton diff covers. It's a T-shaped modular forging. It's solid, so it's real rigid. It doesn't flex any when it's under the front end, so it keeps the steering wheel real solid. You don't get any play. This is our new hydraulic ram assist clamp for the tie rod. So this would go on your tie rod here. Your assist ram would come in here. This is our new bracket for the JLJT. This is a bolt-on bracket for the axle end of your assist ram. So your ram goes here, and then this is your clamp for the tie rod. So it Sweet. makes your ram assist on any JLJT a real easy direct bolt-on. Sweet. Got the Antirock sway bars, which you guys have been known for years on yeah. producing great off-road sway bars. Oh yeah, so on the display table here, this is just a front JK that we've got on display. We're doing uh, forged brackets now, so these are forged chromoly frame brackets that take the take the bushings here. Yeah. It's also got our our forged chromoly arms. It's an I beam construction. It's the strongest arm that we offer. And then these are the new ones that I showed you on the JT. These right. are those CNC machined yeah. arms here, and then this is our offset arm, Sweet. fully machined. These will be on the website, hopefully here in a few months. We've also got new rod ends. So we're still doing the Heim joints that we've always offered in our lift kits and our sway bars. These are our new sealed rod end. Okay. Hopefully get a little bit more longevity out of these, keep the dirt out and let right. the ball joints, you know, last a really long time. This is that front geometry drop bracket that uh, we talked about on the JT over there. So this goes on like this here. It bolts into the factory location with factory hardware relocates the control arms down to leave them at more of a factory angle as far as the geometry is concerned so you still maintain that factory ride quality with the lift kit that you install our flagship product line here our johnny joint johnny joints are standard in a lot of other manufacturers lift kits if you buy off-road evolution generite uh, Clayton Off-Road, Core 4x4, just to name a few. Yeah. They're all running our Johnny joints in their suspension systems. We make them in a two inch diameter, a two and a half diameter, and our new three inch diameter. Wow, that thing's beefy. Yeah, so this would be good for full size truck guys, rock bouncers, what have you. This is just a massive three inch Johnny joint. Right. They're fully rebuildable. Comes with a two piece bushing like you see here on this three, three inch joint. We do them as a weld on. Okay. And then we do them in standard width and narrow width. Okay. We get that question a lot. I'll cover that real quick with you. I won't take too much time. So our standard joint is a two piece bushing like this here. Right. We use that on uh, the majority of our control arms. The narrow joints are a narrower body, so you can get more articulation out of the joint. You're going to get about 30 degrees, depending on the part number, out of our standard Johnny joint. And you can get up to 10 more additional degrees, making this 40 degrees of movement, depending on the part number in our narrow joints. Awesome. The narrows are a one-piece bushing. It's good in a race application. It's good for track bar applications. Um, and then we have all the all the different diameters. We probably have a thousand combinations of sizes and different configurations that the Johnny joints could fit. I talked earlier about the rock nut steering and the rock nut control arms on our JT. This is a cutaway of it. It eliminates the jam nut. The jam nut normally would pull on the threads. Right. This is a collet style design. When you tighten this nut, it pinches the aluminum and tightens onto the threads. It doesn't gotcha. pull the thread, it pinches the thread. Okay. Last but not least, we got our frame plugs. These things have been huge. Just about sold out of these. So these are some Delrin frame plugs. They go into the front frame holes. Okay. They fit JL, JT, and JK. There's two holes, one in front of the shock on the yeah. frame and one behind the shock on the frame, and we've awesome. got them for both models. Awesome. Are these uh, ball joint deletes? Yeah, so these awesome. are our Johnny joints for a JL okay. upper control arm on the axle housing. Okay. So you press the factory cleavite bushing out, okay. and this goes in place of it on the axle okay. housing for the upper control arms. And we do those for TJ, JK, JL, JT. Okay. Well, Max, I really appreciate it. Yeah. If you guys go check them out, rockjock4x4.com. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. All right, guys. As you can see, Oracle Lights over here. 
very well known for their gladiator lenses that don't stick out from the side. So here's their gladiator. As you can see, the Oracle lights give you that flush mount so you don't knock off your, your tail light. Haven't quite uh, been sold on them yet, but they do look good. And this looks like a new strip to go on the tailgate. It's pretty cool. It's a nice gladiator. Awesome. Hi guys, so we've had a great time here at Jeep Beach. Uh, we'll see what else we can see before we go. But if you would smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get the notifications. For early access, check us out over at Instagram and TikTok. Right, guys we are going to go check out the parade this morning uh, apologize for the wind as you can see all the vendors cleared out yesterday around 4 p.m and this uh vendor lot this was full of vendors everywhere you look it's pretty much empty except for a few big rigs that are still around and a few jeeps that are still cleaning up i don't know if you guys can see but the clouds are moving extremely fast and we've had numerous tornado watches and lightning and thunder and it's been an adventure, high adventure, that's for sure. So we're gonna go check out, see if the uh, parade is still going on. If it's poking his head out. All right guys, so we're now officially at the beach. Stuck in a little traffic here between a hundred other Jeeps. Um, Jeep Beach, they charge you $20 if you're not staged by eight and through the gate. So that's why they open at 545. Yeah. This beach is hard packed. So like North Carolina beaches.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get the notifications and keep coming back for more. For early access, check us out over on TikTok and Instagram. Once again, you guys get to come along for the ride and I get to share my dream with you. But the true purpose of this channel is to help motivate, inspire, and inform you guys so you can get out there and start building your dream.